Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and it's Valentine's Day so what better way to start than a heart shaped bowl so I grabbed a blank and uh, drew a heart and then took it to the bandsaw and uh, cut it out put a faceplate on and uh, mounted it to, to the chill so now I'm using the mid-size finisher to uh, start the shape just taking a few light cuts And now with the detailer to start the uh, the mortise. And there's the number one hollower. Followed by the finisher just to uh, level that bottom. And then coming back with the detailer just to make the dovetail. Or the recess, should I say, for the dovetail. Back to the uh, the finisher there. If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. Forever. So I'm just getting that shape into it now. Not um, not taking it all the way to the uh, to the rim, leaving a bit of uh, material on there, so when I flip it round, um, I can work on the uh, inside. And here we are with Clingsboro abrasives, um, 80 grit up to um, 240. Here's the Hampshire Sheen pre thinned sand and seal. in nice and steady being very careful when you come out to the uh, to the hearts and the point of this keeping your fingers well away and this is the Hampshire Sheen high gloss just working that in like I've said before a nice thin coat and as you can see there making a nice wad of um, of kitchen roll and just letting that buff in. So now it's flipped round and I'm coming back with the Easy Woods uh, finisher just to start the bowl. with the uh, number one hollower from Easy Wood Tools. Taking it very steady on those, uh, basically like a wing, so it's like doing a wing ball, just having to be very careful. So while I'm hogging out to the uh, centre of this ball, um, I mentioned last week that I've got a, a giveaway coming up. Um, I will be uh, starting that giveaway um, on next week's video, and it is for uh, Dremel 8240. It's to promote the launch 
range of the new 8240 range. So stay tuned for that one. haven't already don't forget to uh, nip over to Wayne the Woodturner's channel as well um, he announced last week that he's also got a Dremel 8240 and he's currently doing a giveaway so if you haven't watched it nip over to Wayne and uh, see how you can get entered So now again with the number one hollower there, just working around that centre mass. <coughs> with the bulk of that material away now, I don't want to come back up the wings, I just want to focus on that centre area, getting it to where uh, same thickness all the way around. Have we got it? Our lines cross. We're wasting time on stuff that doesn't really matter. While wishing for something better, I try to fix things that weren't broken. Misunderstand. Final, final passes. with the uh, full size finisher and back to sanding now what you don't see on here is um, I sand from uh, 80 grit again and I could work up to um, 400 now there is a lot of sanding done by hand um, so I want the inside of this bowl um, to be painted so I'm just going to apply a little base coat there of Hampshire sheet um, cellulose sanding sealer and you can see I've taped off the uh, rim and that's the uh, gloss lacquer. Now, what I've got there is the iridescent range from, um, from Joe Sonia's. Now, I did hear somewhere, I can't remember where, that if you mixed the gold and the red together, you could get a potential um, rose gold look. I thought, you know what, I'm going to try that, and I'm going to try that on this bowl. So I did, and to be honest, I did like how, um, how it came out. Well, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you like this one, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.